Dr. Howarth Lewis of the United States. Born in 1950 in Berkeley, California, following his undergraduate education at Stanford University, Howarth Howdy Buis spent three years in the Philippines with the Volunteers in Asia organization, an experience that refocused his career on international humanitarian issues. Returning to Stanford, he enrolled in a graduate program at the Food Research Institute, earning his PhD in 1982. That same year, at the invitation of future World Food Prize laureate, Dr. Per Pinstrup Anderson, Buis accepted a position at the International Food Policy Research Institute, known as IFPRI. Inspired by the achievements in reducing micronutrient deficiencies of another World Food Prize laureate, Dr. Nevin Scrimshaw, Buis began the search in the early 1980s for the way to infuse essential vitamins and minerals into the staple crops people eat every day, seeking ways to literally have their food become the medicine that would prevent the devastation of malnutrition. As momentum gathered, Harvest Plus was born in 2003 under Buis' leadership at IFPRI. As a result of Buis' leadership, crops such as iron and zinc-fortified beans, rice, wheat, cowpea, and pearl millet and vitamin A enriched cassava, maize, and sweet potatoes are either being tested or have been commercially released in over 40 countries, including those with acute need, such as Bangladesh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, India, Nigeria, Rwanda, Zambia, and Pakistan. The World Food Prize sculpture will now be presented to the 2016 laureates. So good evening. My heartfelt thanks to the Harvest Plus family. You are the laureates. The scientists, those getting the crops out to farmers and consumers, support staff, managers, analysts, donors, partners, communicators, and those who advocate for biofortification. Thank you for your dedication, for applying your many diverse talents to realize our collective vision. Thank you, Ambassador Quinn and those associated with the World Food Prize for this personal honor. And my family, Christina, Andrew, Liz, Margie, all who have loved and supported me. I am a researcher at heart. I enjoy science, but I have discovered that my real passion is to use science to have impact. I have learned that science can only serve the poor if we scientists actively take leadership in motivating and organizing the many actors and institutions involved in bringing new agricultural technologies to farmers and consumers. The next step for biofortification is to go to scale globally. My hope is that biofortification can serve as a motivational example of how public investments in agriculture and nutrition can alleviate terrible suffering around the world and so bring global justice and peace nearer for future generations. Thank you again.